Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Janice. So in case you haven't visited my channel before, I have posted a lot of travel videos from my study abroad experience. I've been posting them exactly a year after they happened, so it's been really great throwbacks to those good old days. But this video, I'm focusing on the Charlotte Russe because they're having a huge closing sale. They're having between 20 or 40% in my area. But I was able to go to two different Charlotte Russe stores and boy did I find a lot of stuff. So we have this bag and we have this bag. So like I said, I think they were having a good sale. Obviously shows how much I spent there and how much I was able to find. Uh, hopefully you guys can find the same and use my experience and my the things that I found in order to find things that you like as well. So thank you for clicking on this video. Let's get on with the haul. So starting off the haul, we have this pink sweater right here. It's actually a pinky purplish color, but it's a really, really soft material. And I wanted to work it a few different times actually <laughs> before this video. And I just put a scarf on it and it just dresses it up a little bit. It makes it look really cute and I love wearing it. So next on the haul, we have another one of those sweaters except the stripe one. This one, again, I love these sweaters. They're so basic, but they're so um, they're so soft and comfortable. I love wearing them. And it's basically like, it's a little bit darker. It's more of a um, rosy colored pink with a white stripe through it. And this one's a little bit more of a crop top too. It's super cute. I love wearing it. It's really simple, but dressy for work. Again, another sweater. Uh, again, the same one that I just picked up, except this one's a yellow one. I've actually never owned a yellow shirt before, so this is a good way to start it off. It's kind of like a deeper yellow. It's like a darker yellow, like sort of getting close to mustard or something. So another one, um, this is actually a cardigan that I got from one of the Charlouses. So this one right here, it has buttons down the side. Sorry, I didn't put this on the try-on haul portion of it. This is a regular cardigan. It's a little bit thicker material than the other sweaters that I just got, but it still is really cute. And I've been wearing it with like a um, striped shirt underneath it, striped long sleeve, and just layering those together looks really nice with jeans. So another thing I found was this blue uh, hoodie type sweater. It's the same material as the other ones, except there's a hood to it and it's a little bit more cropped. So this one I'd be, probably be wearing like around the fire in the summer to keep the mosquitoes off. It has these two little strings. Um, again, it's a little bit more cropped, but it is still really, really soft and it's kind of light. So that's why I was saying that for summer nights, it'd be really nice. So that was all the sweaters that I was able to find. In addition, I also grabbed a few dresses. So one of the dresses that I found was this really nice, like maroonish red uh, dress. And in the middle right here, we have this nice deep V that goes down right here and this is all see-through mesh whereas the other parts have like this kind of super soft material that goes in um, and then on the back we also have this really deep V that goes all the way down so that's really flattering and I really like it on uh, this is a bodycon dress and all the way down at the bottom it stops with a little slip and then we have the lace goes down a little bit further so that's that's really nice so next item I actually got a romper so this romper is this flowery and on the bottom part it has a nice uh, pattern around the pant leg and so it has a deep v-neck and then on the back to prevent the shoulders from falling off it has a strap to keep it together it also has this nice um, zipper that goes all the way down with a little clip on the back so that prevents it from going the zipper going down it is long sleeve but the fabric's pretty light so it'll work out pretty well when the wind blows it'll keep me cool so next I have another dress. Um, this one is a regular black dress. It has a straight neckline right across the top and the straps are pretty plain. It's pretty flattering. On the back it's a crisscross back and then it goes all the way down. And it is a bodycon dress. It's a nice soft fabric and I believe I got this for $4 maybe or $5 somewhere around there regardless it started at like 12 or 15 or something and went down to five again It was a steal. I didn't even try it on before I got here. So thankfully it fits So the last clothing item in this haul is a gray uh, Sweater dress. So I've actually been looking for these for a, one of these for a while and the Material is the same material as the other sweaters that I had beforehand. It's a super soft again and It will definitely keep me warm over the winter um, again, I didn't even try this one on before I got it. Thankfully it fits kind of. I just can't bend over with it at all. <laughs> but it does have a deep back, which I think is really cute and flattering. 
Uh, it does have long sleeves. It is, like I said, really short, unfortunately, but it still fits, which I'll be happy to wear. I'll probably wear black tights or something with it, um, and I'm super excited to wear it next winter. So the accessories I got with this. I actually haven't worn a scrunchie since I was four or so, so I don't know if I'm gonna get on this train or not. I'm just throwing it out there, but I did get scrunchies for the first time in a while. All right, they broke open, but that's okay. So we have these three scrunchies. There's like a lacy one, a pinkish, like light pink color, and then sparkly one. I highly doubt I'll wear the sparkly one, but I might wear the other two. Uh, I think they're super cute, and if I were to start wearing scrunchies, I think the, like those two would probably be the ones I'd start with, so I appreciated those. I think they started at $5 or so, and I think I got it for $3.75 or something like that. So again, pretty good deals, not complaining at all. So another uh, accessory that I got for this haul is these cute earrings. Um, so these earrings, if it focuses, give me one second. So I love these earrings, they're so cute. This one for sure, I believe I'm gonna wear with some of the dresses that I got. Because then there's this nice aquamarine color and these nice pearls right here. Like I said, I'm so excited to wear these and they're so cute and dangly. These ones, the diamonds are a little bit off. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the diamonds are a little bit off. But like I said, these bottom ones are still cute and they're worth it. I think the total for this one, so I think this one started around $6 or so and I believe I got it for maybe 450 or something like that. I think it was a good steal and I cannot wait to wear them. So next we have shoes, oh boy. So I did get three pairs of shoes when I was there, or technically two pairs of boots and a pair of flats. So I get these nice flats. Um, they are kind of like a suede material and they have this nice pattern around the top right here. Uh, they do have a little bit of cushion, not a lot. But regardless, they'll be cute for when I go to work, and I love flats because heels can get annoying at times, as you probably would know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to wear these to work, and I think they're going to be really cute. So next in the haul, we have these cute booties, <laughs> as people would say. So they have a little bit of a heel, not too much, but not too little, just so that way I can get a little bit of height, because I'm only like five, two, and three quarters, because that three quarters counts. Um, so they do have a little bit of a toe. So when I work, do wear these on the cruise, I need to get a pedicure. I have to remind myself to do that. Uh, they do have a bit of a strap and the there's a buckle on there, which is super cute. They're kind of open, they're meshy, and they're really nice. And that way my feet won't sweat in them and they're a nice material. Uh, they do have a little bit of cushion on the bottom too, which I'm really excited about because I know my feet get really tired really quick. And like I said, the heel isn't huge at all. So I'm usually used to wearing these kind of heels too, this size. So I'll be fine. And like I said, they're really cute too. So I'll be wearing them with one of the dresses that I got, which I'm beyond excited for. And last but not least, I grabbed a pair of work boots. So for my job, I constantly have to visit the construction site. And the work boots I have now are way too big and they're so clunky. And so I'm praying that these ones kind of get the job done, I guess. <laughs> That's the way to say it. They do have a little bit of like a non-slip bottom too, which is really helpful. I highly doubt that they'll be super waterproof, if at all. I'm hoping that they at least like can eat the water out, um, but we'll see. They are kind of cushioned and there is a little bit of like fuzzy stuff inside, so I'm kind of excited for that. It'll be like some kind of barrier from the cold because it's freezing. And um, Timberlands are like $200. I'm not gonna pay $200 for boots that I only wear like not that often. So these work for the time being. I'm really excited to wear them because these ones won't flop around like the other ones were. So thanks for watching the haul. My camera's gonna die, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Come back for more soon. I believe I'll be posting every weekend or I'm gonna pray that I'm gonna post every weekend. So I'll see you guys soon and have a good week.